Welcome back to my channel. Well, um, I prepared another great video for you guys. And uh, this is about uh, camel dystocia that involves uh, a fetotomy procedure. Well, I'll explain it on the video later. But uh, before anything else, I want to greet you all a Happy New Year! Well, I wish you all an amazing uh, 2023 and that uh, your plans and dreams, you know, uh, become a reality this year. So I wish uh, positive vibes for all of you guys. And uh, well, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, <coughs> I want to say thank you guys for those who are, you know, supporting my channel. You know who you are. And uh, of course, to all of my subscribers, I appreciate you all, you know, sticking around and, uh, you know, continue sharing this channel to everyone so we can reach out and help. And then, uh, yeah, you know, guys, that everything about this channel is to help out those who have questions in livestock. And not only that, of course, it's all about helping our uh, animals get better and become well. So that's the primary, uh, that's my primary goal for this channel, is to reach out uh, to uh, you know, those animals in need and also of course, of course those who are raising these animals. So yeah, I hope that uh, you'll continue to be you know, with me and uh, you know, support me as we go along 2023 and you know tackle all the challenges that will uh, come ahead of us so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and now you know watch my first video for the year enjoy hey guys it's me again Welcome back to the channel and uh, I have another video for you that I want to uh, share and this is about uh, camel dystocia again. Well, um, it's a different case than the one that you saw on, the, on my other video. This one we did the fetotomy uh, procedure. So uh, I looked online just for, uh, for you guys to know what, what is uh, fetotomy. So according to uh, Wikipedia, it is a veterinary procedure to recover a deceased fetus in situations where cesarean section is not possible. So uh, in our clinic, we don't have that uh, facility to, uh, pr to uh, perform cesarean procedure and we don't have um, a surgeon to do it. So this is the approach that we did for this case. Um, all right. so. In this video, you can see when we arrive at the scene, the the camel was uh, presented to us in already in distress. So it's uh, lying on its side, on the um, lying on its side, and uh, standing up, sitting down, and uh, obviously it wanted to ex it want it want it wanted to expel the fetus out, but. Uh, the fetus's position is uh, is uh, difficult uh, to eject. Uh, why? Because uh, the limbs were presented first, so the the foot, but uh, the limb the limbs are over the head and the neck of the fetus. So the fetus the fetus's um, head was down towards. Uh, it's blocking the entrance of the. I mean, basically, it's blocking the end, the exit. So, um, as you can see, uh, I, I tried and examine it as well. So we need to examine how we can approach it. And uh, well, we agreed, my supervisor and I, that we tie a rope towards uh, the neck here of the, the cervical area of the the fetus. So we I we inserted our hand in there, and then we run it over uh, under the neck and back on the other side over and then we pulled it and then once it's already uh, um, locked in there so on the under on one end of the rope we placed a wire saw and then um, pulled it again so that the wire saw will now be in the place of the 
of the cut of the rope that we inserted and then from there we can uh, start uh, you know um, using the the fetotomy tool this is a stainless uh, steel uh, metal uh, about uh, one and a half meters long with two uh, with two openings so that you can insert you can put in the wire on both sides and then you can start uh, s s uh, s uh, the, uh, action, the action like you're sewing so you, you'll see later so we have to put the animal first on its on a seated position so that we can safely do the procedure so this is a, uh, as you can see it's not a two-man job so there has to be at least uh, a minimum of uh, five or six people to do it because this is this is a large animal and uh, we have to restrain the animal properly so if necessary restrain the animal so that you can um, proceed cautiously with the with the, this uh, procedure so it's a delicate procedure it's not uh, to be taken lightly so if you don't know how to do it you have to always ask uh, professional help and then yes yeah, you can see in the action of the if you can see the wire so it's we are now trying to cut the neck part of the, the fetus while it's still inside. Um, while my supervisor is holding the tool, I'm also holding the other end. So the super, my supervisor is holding the, the end from the inside and I'm holding the end to, to on the outside. So I'm pushing it as they, uh, I'm pushing it as they try to uh, cut, as we try to cut it. Okay, so here it's done. Now, all we need to do is uh, to uh, take out that part that's uh, blocking the exit. Okay, so it is not an easy procedure um, either for, um, for us or for the people working and for especially for the animal. So by the way, for your information, the animal is not sedated. So we just uh, uh, restrain the animal properly. So no need for sedation. And uh, yeah, so in here, as you can see, I'm trying to uh, pull the head and the neck part of the together. So that, that portion here from the neck, the cervical area to the head. And then, uh, yeah, it's still difficult to do it with the, the both, uh, legs for le four limbs out So now that's done, so we need to uh, um, put the animal on the side so it's easier to manipulate the, the fetus. Now that we don't have the, the head and the neck blocking the exit. So for, we need to tie the hind uh, limbs and then I have to tie the limbs as well and then I, I ask the procedure or I, I mean I ask the help of my um, assistants so that we can pull the fetus out so always in this uh, kind of procedure we need to use plenty of lubricant lubricant gel so with us we uh, we consume about uh, maybe one or two two liters of lubricant gels for this one for this for this case alone so yep even with the with the part where uh, uh, it's it was where the part uh, gone that's blocking the entrance, so it's still a difficult task to pull the fetus out. So we needed three people to pull to pull it. So I'm the one guiding them, just to uh, make sure that uh, the birth the the vaginal area is not uh, you know 
um, um, lacerated. So there you go. So checking for uh, bleeders. So everything is uh, fine. No bleeders there. Okay, so the placenta, or I mean the rest of the placenta is out. And then the next step is to uh, take care of the dam. So um, there's a slight bleeding, but not too much. So we needed to give it a uh, saline solution with a bit of uh, B multivitamin, uh, B vitamins, I'm sorry. And then once that's done, so we will release the animal. So we'll remove the restraints. So as you can see here, so we're just finishing the ap applying or giving the saline solution. Yeah,